I'm Stuart Dixon, I'm MLA for East Antrim and I'm a member of the Alliance Party. The core belief of the Alliance Party is about delivering a shared future for everyone in Northern Ireland. For too long we have lived in a very divided society and we believe passionately that um, people living together, sharing all the facilities and all the resources of Northern Ireland will have a better future, a better economic future, a better future in terms of the communities that we live in and the way in which we live here in Northern Ireland. Well, I guess we've changed in lots of ways. We've certainly been growing as a political party. We have uh, eight members of the Assembly. We have councillors in the new regional authorities. And um, we are growing and delivering for people and doing what people want us to do as a political party. Not looking back to uh, things in the past, but trying to look to, to a bright future. Well, I think that's a, an interesting question. I'm not sure many members of the public would actually think it is uh, particularly effective or efficient. We do do some things well, but there are many, many things that we could do a great deal better. But I believe that the influence of two Alliance Ministers, David Ford and Stephen Farry, are having an impact on the workings of the Executive. All political parties face challenges, um, whether it's resources or whether it is um, the electoral mandate that we have and trying to get more people elected. Um, but we're up for all of those challenges and communicating with the public is of vital importance to us and the role of social media is very important to us and we try to engage in that way with members of the public and particularly with young people. Well, we believe that we've got some way to go yet. We've got to get our own finances in order and we need to be able to show that we are responsible for our own finances before we can actually handle additional taxes. In general, we are in favour of the devolution of corporation tax, but we think that we've got a long way to go yet. I'm a supporter of Votes at 16, I've supported a number of campaigns for Votes at 16. I believe that it's the right thing for young people to engage in society as soon as possible and I would encourage the legislature here and in Westminster to provide for Votes at 16. It was very successful in Scotland and there's no reason to believe it wouldn't be any less successful here. Academic selection. The current system is broken. It's not working and we need to find an alternative. Uh, we are supporters of um, a comprehensive style of education. We believe in uh, educating our young people together. But we do recognise that there is a need at some stage in a young person's academic career that they do need uh, to move in different directions. So perhaps we need to be looking at, for example, in the way in which education is delivered in the Craig Avon area, where young people move uh, to different schools at age 14. But we're open-minded about that, but clearly the current system isn't working.